And your biggest challenge when starting a business like this? Biggest challenge starting a business like this, it's not even the money. I mean, most people think they need investment first. The biggest challenge is... Uh, I, I left school with five C's and one D at GCSE. Uh, one AVC in ICT, I failed the first year, but then I got a G. I didn't even know they did G's until I got one. I worked at Next, PC World, and then a few bars. Uh, I started at Aviva on 8K a year. I'm not a coder, I'm not an engineer, I'm not a programmer. I, I had no business experience. I didn't know anything about business, anything about paying people, anything about P-O-Y-E, V-A-T, anything with an acronym. I had no mentor. Uh, we were based in Norwich, right? Just like you guys are now. We weren't based in London, a think tank. I had no technical experience whatsoever. I couldn't build a website. We had no management or leadership experience. Would you all agree that the odds are stacked against you at that point? Yeah? You take all that and what does that give you? Anyone guess? It gives you the UK's 13th fastest growing company. So I want to give some advice to the people out there. Um, so th this one's going to be about how to start a business. And my advice to anyone out there is to just start. Think about your entrepreneurial career as, a, as, as like, a, like a career you'd have in, in a business. You'd start off in one job, but you might chop and change or grow, or you might pivot and change throughout your career. It's the same as an entrepreneur. The first business you start might not be the one you finish on, but what you learn in that first business probably will help you. I mean, EPOS now, has been quite successful, I think we'd all agree, but that that's not my first business. You know, I had loads of business, I had a few businesses that I tried before that. One was a bar, um, which, which was great, and a great business, I just wasn't that great at it. One was a mobile phone dealership, I sold um, trunk in online and tried to do other businesses, so it wasn't really the first, uh, first business I tried. The second bit of advice I wanna give is about ideas. Uh, don't ever wait for that perfect idea, because the perfect idea never comes. Um, my advice to most people is, Try things, try things, get yourself some breathing room and try a lot of ideas, try them out. Just don't spend a lot of money when you do it. There's loads of cheap ways to prove the concept before you start. How I'd give you an example of that is when I started EPOS Now, um, we wanted to sell the systems over the internet, but no one had really done it before. They wanted to sell them with loads of professional services. So what we did is we sourced equipment locally. Um, we sourced a few bits, uh, bits of equipment locally and, and, and sourced software locally and put it together and, and tried the concept first before before we made a big commitment to buy some hardware off a supplier. So that was a way we could really try the model without investing loads of money. And we see it all the time with, with uh, I get asked to help people out on their business from time to time. If you take uh, like app development, for example, a lot of people I work with have already started or built an app and then they come to me at the end and say, look, I've got this great application. Um, can you put it on your EPOS Now app store or can you help me with a way to sell it? And you're like, well, realistically, Part of the business element is understanding the sales and marketing concept. So realistically, you, you, you should have understood how you acquire customers and how much um, kind of before you started building anything because you don't want to spend any money before you understand how much it costs to build and how much it costs to acquire a customer and whether there's a market for it. So don't worry too much about the idea. Worry more about how you're going to sell that and how you're going to win business and whether or not it will help the customer as well. Um, which gets on the next thing, finance. Most people try and take out loans or take out a mortgage to start a business or you know, put themselves at financial risk. My advice to anyone out there trying to start a business would be uh, prove the concept first, like I've said. Uh, don't bet the house. Live to fight another day. Don't always put your eggs in one basket. You might think it's the best idea, and I've done this before, and it just might not for any other re for any reason non beknown to you right now. It might not be successful, or you have competition out there, pesky competitors. Um, so I would say, look, you know, make sure you prove the concept. Try and get it a bit organically funded, and try and put a little try and try and prove the concept with as lightweight as possible before you start investing. And then the last thing is make sure you're ready to pivot and change. So it, it comes through everything. As long as you've started the business, you haven't invested too heavily in it, and you've proved the con and you're starting to prove the concept, right? If the concept doesn't work in its traditional form, you can pivot and change, right? So, so don't get yourself too wrapped up in anything until you've absolutely proved the concept, because it's about being an entrepreneur is about a journey, right? And it's about being able to, you know, start businesses up and grow and change and sell those businesses and move forward and grow as a person, understand what you really want to do, right? Not, I've never met any entrepreneurs 
that, that, that know exactly what they want to do. They come up with a perfect idea. They come up with exactly the money they need and they just execute and live happy ever after. Being an entrepreneur is about a journey. It's about starting a business. It's about learning the ropes. It's about starting another one. And what you don't want to do is leave a wake of destruction behind you. So don't bet your house. Don't bet your car. Don't bet any finance. You know, and if you haven't got a lot of startup capital, always work with partners as well to share the risk. But it's supposed to be fun and that's what people miss. And if you invest a lot of money into it without proving the concept, it's not fun. Um, so there's just a ways to think and how you think differently about business. Um, so good luck on your entrepreneurial journey. And remember, prove that concept before you bet the house.